Libra, welcome to your reading. Welcome in. My name is Lisa. We're going to do your reading for today. Going to start out with some oracles. If you don't care for the oracles, skip ahead. Timestamps are down below, and then I will get to your oracle cards. We've got flexibility, protection, magic, moonlight, enchantment, and leadership. So you may need some flexibility in regards to a relationship, work, okay? Could be work-related. You got leadership here as well. Protection, that could be related to a person or situation or yourself, okay? Maybe you're trying to protect yourself uh, in a situation. And that magic card, I love that magic uh, moon energy there, okay? Maybe working on some self-healing type things, uh, keeping secrets or revealing them. Let's see what comes out, Libra, in your tarot cards. What do we have for Libra? Keep in mind, these are general. They won't resonate for all of you. Nine of Pentacles could be work. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Trying to do actually more love related. I usually do both types of readings, um, but those love readings always get uh, better views and it seems like that's what everybody wants. <laughs> so we'll just go with that. Because <laughs> um, I don't want to do them if people aren't going to watch them. Okay, let's see your overall energy, Page of Cups. Got some emotions going on here, a little bit. Um, maybe thinking about offering an apology to someone or offering someone something, uh, asking them to meet up, okay? But then you have Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This is kind of your current energy. Um, you're not putting a lot of effort. So you might be thinking about doing this, but you're not putting a lot of action so far. <coughs> um Future energy, Queen of Wands, a lot of fire going on. See all that red? That's being confident, assertive, knowing what you want, not being afraid to go get it. So let's see why do we have this Nine of Pentacles. Jeez. That's, excuse my damn stool, it squeaks. Um, Nine of Pentacles is a single type of energy. Uh you know, could be job, career related, or just stability in general. Why is that? Oh, oh, the lovers. Okay, Libra. Hmm. Let's see what else we get on that before I say anything. What else for that Nine of Pentacles? King of Wands in the reverse. So now we have a perfect pair. We've got the King and the Queen of Wands. But this bad boy is in reverse. <laughs> could be some anger. Could be somebody with some anger issues in the past in regards to this connection. The lovers is a very close connection. It's also about making a choice. This could even mean you turn somebody down, okay? Because this is a nine of pentacles, which is a singular type of, uh, you know, it's independence, stability, success, not needing anybody, you know, you got yourself to rely on. And my cards are going to hit the floor again. Never fails. Temperance in the river. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like you may have disconnected from a connection. Um, this person could have been. It could have had some player type of energy. Just go ahead, just to throw that out there. We got this King of Wands and it's in the reverse. Uh, could be anger issues, not reliable, uh, not stable. This wand energy, uh, although it is a king, it's a little better than a knight, okay? Um, but it can 
even show somebody with control issues, okay? Somebody wanting to control the situation too much. And I feel like you just lost patience, okay? Temperance in reverse, which is, that that's a major arcana. So it is arcana. And it's the universe kind of stepping in a little bit, kind of nudging you to say like, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. I don't have the patience anymore. Uh, I, I don't want to do this, okay? So some of you may have lost patience uh, and made the choice to disconnect from that. What do we get on this lovers? I'm going to get a few more here. A few more clarifiers. Seven of, yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Not really nurturing that connection anymore. Ooh, queen of swords. And I feel like you told them. And that's your energy, okay? Libra, this is you, okay? You just kind of cut through the BS with that sword there. Um, you could have just flat out told this person, this is the way it is, okay? Um, if I'm right, I don't do it at all. Why is this temperance here? And the moon, again. So we've got this magic card and the moon. My favorite card of this deck, which is also the cover. Um, you may have found out that they were keeping secrets with this moon energy, okay? Um, it's Pisces energy. We've got Gemini uh, and Sagittarius also. But the moon is here with the temperance in reverse. So it's kind of like feels like this person lied to you one too many times or kept too many secrets from you and you just couldn't do it anymore okay it's kind of like all right that's that's enough type of thing and this page of cups here for your overall energy that could just be your energy of missing this person right now all right if you did disconnect from them now let's go to your current page of pentacles in the reverse Why is this here for libra nine of wands well, some of you, you know, it, it could be a struggle because you might not even be speaking to this person at this point, okay? It's kind of like you want to, but you're not, you know, justice in the reverse. More on this page of pentacles. Why is this here? The emperor. The fat cat himself. <laughs> More fire energy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a nutty cat lady. I admit it. Okay. I, I'm kind of proud of it. But anyway, um, you're in control of yourself. Okay. I feel like th this is you. Um, you're just chilling, laid back, in control. All right. Um, and it's, and, but there are times where you got to work on controlling your own energy. Okay. Because you may feel like, oh, I'm going to text this person or call them or see them or whatever. Um, but you know that it's, it's, you know, it, it can be heavy. It can be heavy energy. Nine of cups. See, but, but then you're also happy. Okay. You're, It's kind of, you're, you're like in this happy single energy, but then there's these fleeting moments, it feels like, where you're like, well, I kind of want to commit again. Okay, here a font. But that's here with the justice card. I feel like most of you are committing to yourself right now. Okay? Kind of like making the decision to put the energy into yourself and not this particular person, at least right now. Yeah, the Emperor and Ten of Cups. Um, now you've got the Nine and the Ten, all right? It's a work in progress. Is Ten of Cups my usual commitment, you know, emotional happiness energy? Yes. Does not have to be for me, okay? Um, 
because I'm feeling this, it's like a renewed sense of independence, okay? A renewed sense of being in charge of your own happiness with this emperor and the 10 of cups together. Okay, future energy, queen of wands. Let's see what this is. That's some fire energy there. Still an energy of being in control. Of swords. That can be some kind of confusion or conflict uh, with your thoughts. Let's see what else we get. Four pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So <clears throat> future energy here. You may start to struggle to let go of this person, okay. um, which is typical. The sun in reverse. Yeah. Um, you get confused. You kind of, you're trying to stay in control here with this queen of wands energy, but it can be really difficult to do that at times. Uh, it can be confusing. It can start to, you know, you can start to have some anxiety creeping in. Tell me more on this five of swords. Queen of Pentacles. But then you snap back out of it. <laughs> okay. You snap back out of it. Queen of Pentacles. There's that independent energy again. I can do for myself, take care of myself, working on my coin. Okay. Um, doing good. I'm stable. All right. Uh, it just takes time. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles in reverse. But I feel like you are going to, you know, you will be able to let go. Yeah. Four cups in reverse, letting go of that past. Got Leo energy with the sun, but that's was in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, it's just it, it could be a struggle with with the change. Just the change of it. If you went from being in a committed relationship to non-relationship. Okay. Bottom of the deck there, the devil. Ooh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Kind of cool that the people are down here in the cat so I don't have to cover it up so, so that I don't get in trouble from YouTube grabbing naked people on here. Um, and next to that, the tower. Okay. So what I'm feeling with this is in these moments of, oh, shit, I miss this person or I, or I even miss just that connection because sometimes we don't necessarily miss the person we just miss being in a relationship so in those moments of like confusion or I don't know if I did the right thing should I go you know should I go back with them should I speak with them again should I try to reconcile whatever ask yourself what it is you really miss do you really miss that person or do you just miss being in a relationship? Because because they're different things, okay? And we've got the devil with the tower. So it may be tempting. And the tower is about change, okay? It's a lot of change. And the devil is temptation, all right? Very tempting energy. Can be toxic. Can be codependency. Um, so you really have to watch that energy and, and when, when it, when that starts to creep in, check yourself. Okay. Just check yourself so that you don't do something, you know, that you might regret later. What else do we have for Libra? Let's get some, uh, advice cards here for Libra in this situation. What else do we have for Libra? Eight of cups in the reverse. Well, that is a walking back around. I don't know. Eight of wands in the reverse. Well, that's, yeah, that's not, that's non-communication. Um, let me get another one because I want to see what that, and then justice again. I got justice here. Cards, I swear they're gonna hit the floor. Nine of swords in the neighbor. Yeah, you're just you're just 
you know, you're working on getting over all of this anxiety, sleepless nights, all of that, okay? You don't want to mess that up. This is saying, you know, keep that communication cut off or at least minimal. Uh, let me get some romance cards. More romance cards for Libra. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Well, some of you may do that. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. That could very well be true. Could be a rough patch. People reconcile all the time. I don't know how often it works out. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. Um, and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So if you are looking for a new person, you're out there in the singles uh, scene, just, in, just enjoy the time. Just go out with friends, have a good time, you know, that kind of thing. Don't worry too much about it. Um, don't focus on it. And that person will make themselves known. Okay, Libra, thanks so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your likes and your subscriptions. Uh, thank you so, so much. Uh, we will see you the next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.